I bought a unit from Camping World, had so bought additional paint protection and, and um, services. They didn't do them. Um, requested my money back, refused to give me my money back, have been fighting me tooth and nail about giving me my money back. And this is Camping World of Berkeley, Massachusetts. On April 20, on April 27th or 26th, we went and looked at a unit. That was a Friday um, because they had the one we wanted or one of the ones we wanted. We looked at a couple with them. So then they made an arrangement to take ours and trade and on Saturday. And we talked to them and they said, well, for this deal, you got to close before the end of the month. So we want you to come in on Tuesday. We said, there's no way we're working. We'll come in We'll come in on Sunday. They said, okay, fine. When I went there, I told them, I want to pick this unit up by Thursday. I want to take it out over the weekend. They said, okay. So we bought a washer and dryer from them also, a washer dryer combo unit to put in the unit, which they put in. They left the hoses loose. They didn't, they put a residential grade dryer vent on the outside so the flaps opened up while you're driving down the road. And and they didn't secure it down with any cleats or anything. So it was just floating in the cabinet. They they um, didn't hook up the dryer vent and they didn't take the um, bolts out of the back of it that the shipping bolts so that it would move freely. All of these things were just that washer and dryer. Um, but I didn't find that out until I got it home. But when I went to pick it up on the second, it hadn't even been cleaned. They didn't fix the seat that wasn't working, the power seat that wasn't working. They didn't put any, any order any parts to fix it. They did nothing to it whatsoever. They didn't clean it inside or outside. They swore up and down they did the paint treatment on the vehicle, which they charged me $4,000 for. So at that point, I said, look, I just want my money back on these things. I want my money back for all your protection plans. And I'll take the unit and I'll go deal with it myself. They, they managed to talk me out of that that day on the second. So I get it home and then I have all these problems with the washer dryer, the washer machine. And it leaked. What, it, it, I turned the pump on to check all the systems out and it flooded the, wa flooded the thing with water because they didn't tighten the hose up. So um, the, 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 um, so they wouldn't give me my money back and I kept going round and round with them. And I've been going around and around with them. Um, there's a whole host of things that just went wrong there. Everything you could imagine. And so they, uh, I've been fighting with them. I call Camping World almost daily and complain. But Camping World, as a corporation, doesn't really care about their customers. All they seem to care about is bouncing it back to the dealer who really doesn't want to do anything for them. So I... I called them one last time last week on Tuesday, or actually it was, uh, let's see, third, it was Friday morning I called them last Friday morning to tell them, look, he told, they, the guy told me, because the guy called me, talked to me twice, and he's running me around. I don't want to do that. I don't want to give you money back. How about if we extend the, uh, the extended warranty plan? I'm like, no, I want my money back on all of these things. Two of them were cancelable. They say the paint protection is not cancelable, but they didn't do it. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, there's no real contract there. Um, so we've been going round and round. I talked to a woman up in Camping World who really seemed to care, but her hands were tied on what she could really do. So I told her, I said, point blank, look, he told me he was going to call me yesterday to make a deal with me. He didn't call me. So I'm calling you and I'm telling you that what's going to happen now is I'm going to get off the phone with you. I'm calling an attorney and I'm filing a, law, a, a litigation suit against you for the money that you owe me, plus everything, plus all your lawyer's fees and all of this and everything else. And I'm going to call a class action lawsuit attorney and I'm going to file a claim with them. And so 10 minutes later, he calls me up. Oh, well, the deal, here's the deal I want to give you. And he acted like he didn't hear from them at all. But, oh. Well, I'll give you back $29.95 of your paint protection, and I'll give you back the other two plans. Okay, that was on Friday. And then so I, I texted him. I said, listen, here's the deal. You, I, this is what we agreed to today. You send, you, you're you going to send me some paperwork. When I receive that paperwork, I'll take it to my attorney. He will review it, 
and determine whether it's good and legitimate or not. And then I will sign it and send it back to you. I said, but I'm going to make sure I cover myself. So then all of a sudden he's starting to tell me, well, we got to get paperwork from our attorney and this and that. So he's still not doing anything. I mean, that was Friday and now today's Wednesday. He hasn't done anything. So um, that's, you know, the, the, the fact that the service is horrible, absolutely horrible. The service manager gave me a hard time when I told when I started to talk to him about the problems with the thing when I went to pick it up. And then the, then the um, general manager comes out and starts to talk to me. And then I then I when when I went to get the washer dryer, we agreed on a price. They gave me a price. When I go to pick it up, they wanted to charge me more money because they had to go out and get parts. I'm like, no, you're not paying more money. So then I, that's when I lost it, and I went in, and I, I spoke to the, to the um, finance guy. I said, I want my money back on these service protections, period, because it doesn't seem to me like you are even going to back them up. So just give me my money back. I'll drive the unit out of here, and we'll be done. So they talked to me for an hour and a half and talked me out of it. Oh, yeah, you just bring it home, check it all out, fix it up, and all this. You know, look at everything. Anything that's wrong, just let us know and bring it back, and we'll take care of it. Well, I don't think that's even remotely true. Yeah. So there's three protection plans I took. One for wheels and tires was $1,036. One for coach protection, which was 59 something, 59.80 or 90 or something like that. And then the, the paint protection was, was 39.95. So I'm sitting there talking to him and he says, I said, you didn't do it. You know you didn't do it. He said, I have video. I said, show me the video. Wouldn't show me the video. Didn't want to show me the video. They keep telling me they got video. And then they said they have documents. I said, great. What's documents mean? I just wrote a document saying that I went around the world. But I didn't do it. So I said, I want my money back on this. And that's the end of it. Well, we're not, you know, and they keep adamant. We're not going to give you your money back. It's non-cancellable. I don't want to hear about it. It's non-cancellable. You're going to give me my money back. You just don't know it yet. But I also, because they were jerking me around on the pain protection, um, and the other two were cancelable. I went. To, I put fifteen thousand dollars deposit on this. So I went to Discover on a credit card. I went to Discover and I filed a dispute. What they are not unaware of is, is right now, currently, they haven't provided any information to Discover, even though they say they have. And Discover is siding towards me right now. So um, for me to negotiate this with them is foolish. Next steps to get the money back, uh, contact an attorney, yeah. and then uh, and but if they if they're smart, they'll give it to me without fighting because I'm not going to let them go. I'm going to make them. I'm going to keep after them and after them and after them, and I'm going to find every way I can to discredit them. I'm even going to go to the point where I'm going to put something on that camper that says where it was bought and what was wrong with it and what was wrong with that that deal. And every time I go to a campground, it's going to be in my front window.